Hey everyone, I'm Dan Saavedra from MergerData.com and Tableau just released 2022.1. So let's dive in and look at the best new features that they have available for Tableau Desktop. For walking through these new features in Tableau Desktop, I'm going to use the regional sample workbook that Tableau provides. I know that the Superstore sample workbook gets a lot of love, so I figured that I'd switch it up. So the first feature that we're going to look at is the workbook optimizer. Now, I know a lot of people, when they're developing workbooks, tend to run into problems with performance. And so Tableau also knows this because a lot of queries um, on their forums uh, and on other forums tend to do with workbook performance. And so a tool that they created is called the workbook optimizer. If you go into your server tab up here and then you click on run optimizer, it actually pops up 12 criteria to check for best practices. Now, a lot of these you've probably found in guides, but you'd have to go manually check them or do performance recording in order to figure out where your workbook is slowing down. So now instead, you get three different distinct areas of where you should take action. If something needs review, you can look it over in that section and determine if you want to make those changes. And then you also have your past criteria so you can know what you did well. Now this is a really powerful feature, especially for people just learning Tableau, uh, because it really gives you good guidance to the fundamentals of making performant dashboards for your end users. No one likes to wait five to 10 seconds every time they click on something in the dashboard in order to have it load. So instead, you can start by going through this workbook optimizer. Now, there are still other practices that you can use in order to make your workbook perform better from a user standpoint. For example, instead of having the standard filter behavior um, for multi-select filters, you could instead uh, configure it to have an apply button so that the dashboard isn't filtering after every selection or deselection in the workbook filter. But that's besides the point of this new feature. So if we dig in to these different sections here, what you can see um, in this first section is actually something that I added in so that you could see a common take action uh, in the workbook optimizer. Um, and this one is unused data sources. So I added in a data source that's not used in any of the workbook. Um, it's good practice to close data sources that you're not using or not going to use in the workbook. And so Tableau will tell you here which one that is. So if you have five, 10, 15 data sources in your workbook that aren't used, you'll know. And then you can just go up to the data tab here and then you can go and close the data source that's relevant for this one. It would be this data source. The next one is unused fields. And so when you're working with much larger data sets, it's a good idea to hide fields um, that you're not using. Um, and Tableau explains at the bottom here why that's a good idea. Um, especially when creating extracts, when hammering databases of a decent size, you can save on performance um, in pretty significant chunks if you hide fields that you're not using. The next section is the needs review section. Now, this section is pretty much just warnings um, of what would be good to change if you really want to squeak out the best performance in your dashboard. So a few that you see here are the number of data sources, a number of views in a dashboard, and then the number of visible worksheet, workbook sheets. Now, this one, the number of views in the dashboard, was actually made by me called too many worksheets and I just dropped a bunch of copies onto here so you guys could see what this optimizer will show. And so you'll just get this warning number of views in a dashboard. It's always great uh, to limit the number of views that you have in a dashboard. Uh, it'll load a lot quicker. It'll reduce the number of queries uh, that are going back to the data source. Number of visible workbook sheets is also relevant here. Uh, very similar in terms of just reducing the complexity um, of your dashboards and your workbook in general. And then we have the past section down here, uh, and you just see other common categories of performance hits that uh, exist in workbooks that people develop. So calculations across data sources, um, number of hidden workbook sheets, so if you're doing a lot of sheet swapping that can slow things down, um, that type of thing. So this is a really cool new feature. It's going to change the game in terms of Tableau uh, development in general. And next we're going to go on to the second 
top feature, which is the customize view data window. And for this one, I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna select a bunch of points, data here, and then I'm gonna go over to view data. And immediately, if you've been using Tableau Desktop for years, you'll notice a significant difference in the view data window. This is more like your data source preview here, um, where you can see the associated field type. You can even click the drop down to move the fields around. You can sort, you can remove the field, and this is just a summary tab. You also have your full data tab, which used to be along the top, I believe, actually, top or bottom, I can't remember which one. Um, and when you toggle that, you just get pretty much uh, a delimited view of all of your data associated with the selected data points. Um, with the full data here, you have more selection in terms of what's displayed. So you can click on the Show Fields dropdown, and you can see that there's a bunch of hidden fields here that you can actually select or deselect, and it'll show up in the window for you to scroll along, which is pretty cool. You can even limit this. Let's say you have a large data source and you just want to show 500 rows. You can do that just like in the data source window. And so that'll reduce the number of records that you're seeing. And then you also have this settings button for show aliases. You still have this, the familiar feature of being able to download a CSV of the data. So that functionality is still there. This is a huge improvement to the very basic view data window that used to exist. So it's a very, very big productivity booster for people who are developing workbooks. And this is also available online. The third feature is swap with root table. Now, this one's a little bit more complicated, but for those who have dealt with complicated data sources and have had to rebuild those data sources uh, because of data structure changes or something else that caused them to need to swap tables around, we'll remember how difficult it is to swap the root tables in your data model, which was impossible. It was not possible to, to swap those root tables, but now you can. So you can swap with root table and not have to delete your entire um, relationship structure. Um, and instead you can just replace it. And if I can find, for this feature, I had to go back to the Superstore sample dashboard, sample workbook, because the other workbook did not have any relationships in the data sources. But this will be able to, this will allow us to see exactly how the new feature works. And so we have our data model here. And let's say we want to make the root table people instead of orders. And so what we can do is we can right click people and then we can swap with root orders. And Tableau will rearrange the data model in order to keep that relationship that was established and the definition of that relationship. And then it'll make people the root table. Now before, if I undo this, what you would have to do is if you removed your root table, it would just remove your entire data model. And if you have a complicated data model, this means that you're rebuilding an entire data source, which is a pain in the butt. So now you just have that swap with root table function, functionality, and that's it. So these were the top three new features in Tableau Desktop. Tableau is constantly making their product better. They're listening to the community and making features that make development easier. This only helps with the adoption of the platform and the joy of creating dashboards in Tableau Desktop. Now, if you're looking more for Tableau Online features for 2022.1 or, or Tableau Server, I have another video here where we go over those features because there's really a lot to unpack the user experience in Tableau Online is getting better and better every single version. So make sure to check out that video. Thanks for watching.